Good morning. We're back with Daisy's puppies. Um, they're being visited by their friend Remy right now. Um, but Daisy's puppies, they're seven and a half weeks old. They start going home on Saturday. So um, this week's a busy week with all of their go home tasks. We're going to start packing their bags today. And then um, we got to do, we got to take them up to the vet in a couple days. And we got to do their vaccinations um, and their microchips. Um, and then, uh, what's the thing I'm always forgetting? A baths and toenail trims. Then they got their, they get their final baths and we do a final toenail trim to make them like nice and crisp for the families. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, Pom Pom and her babies are doing really, really, really well. Um. She is really, she finally, um, something finally clicked in her head with um, her maternal instincts and she's cleaning them, she's pottying them, she's encouraging them to nurse, she's keeping them warm. Um, she's not bringing them back to the nest yet, um, so I'm just kind of encouraging her. We haven't put the collars on them yet either. In fact, when we go live with them, um, I'll ask you guys what which collars we should put on which ones. They're all super, super cute in their own little ways. There's one who's a really, really dark blenum. And then there's one who's uh, uh, kind of similar to, well, no. Um, I would say similar to um, like uh, Mochi or Annie. And then um, one that's darker than Cheyenne. The, the little girl. Uh, the little girl who's under a hundred grams. She's got this really cute double thumbprint on the top of her head. They're both like really solid, pretty thumbprints. They're just right next to each other. Sometimes, you know, they'll have a double thumbprint and like kind of like Della's they're blended or there's one will be like much bigger than the other. They'll be really different, but it's really, really cute. And then the other two puppies, neither of them has a thumbprint. And so it kind of looks like both of their thumbprints got put on her. Um, but we'll get their stream started today. Um, it's it's real quiet and there's not really a whole lot to see right now because Pom Pom is just kind of covering them up. Um, but we will get the stream started going on them so that you guys can see not just Daisy's puppies, but <laughs> Pom Poms too. Della, there's nothing there. You're just you're just sucking on fur. Um, but so throughout the night, uh, the little girl, I was, um, something we haven't explained, so all of our litters have all been like five or more puppies. And so um, we're having, I've noticed that um, with Pom Pom's milk coming in, we don't have enough puppies to be drinking at all. And so it's, she's getting really engorged and it's getting difficult to latch them. The little girl, she's now strong enough that, um, I can, I can get her to latch onto one of those nipples and she can be like kind of tossed around and kicked and she won't fall off. Um, but so all throughout the night I was rotating um, each of them on her nipples to try to kind of separate uh, or try to divide and have more equal division um, of what milk was coming from where. And she fills up her belly really fast because it's so small. And so we've got to feed her really, really often, like probably once an hour she, she needs to eat. This morning it's been more like every 45 minutes. We'll check her belly, it'll be, she'll be really full and then um, she'll empty and she'll just digest it all that fast. Um, and so we've got the heating pad on her and we've got the heater on her to try to minimize um, how, much, how many calories she's spending trying to keep warm. So, um, and she's doing really well when she's in that sort of incubator, that warm incubator environment. She's really active. She's strong. She's moving her head around. She's sniffing for her mom. She's she's reaching. She's uh, she has like she has all the vigor that Mr. Orange had, um, but she's got a an appetite that he did not have. 
where Mr. Orange, we kind of had to force him to eat. With her, we don't need to force her to eat. She, once we latch her, she's good. With Mr. Orange, we had to sit and make sure he stayed latched because he would just kind of let go and not really care. Um, with this little girl, we just get her latched and she's good. So, I mean, it's, she's only like 30 hours old. So it's still, um, it's still really early. But she's, she's doing really well for the, these first 24 hours. Um, it's like when they're born, we kind of get a trajectory initially after they're born and we uh, have dried them off and we, they've kind of had that time to transition to newborn life. Um, we kind of can get an idea. We can see how much will they have to live, how like we just... It's, it, you know, it's a very rough estimate, but we can kind of have a feel for where the puppy's heading if, if they're just um, underweight and need the extra room or somebody even suggested, I thought this was a very great point, that perhaps her placenta was compromised and now that she's out, she can feed better and um, get more nutrition better. And I thought that was a fantastic point because that happens in people. Um, oftentimes it's when they're overdue. Uh, <laughs> do you see Alfie with getting Remy's tail? Um, usually see that when they're overdue, but um, that wouldn't be the only cause of a failing placenta. So, I mean, it could be, it could have fail, been failing for any number of reasons. So, um, I thought that was a really good point. I wish I could remember who mentioned that so I could give her credit. But I thought that was a good point because she looks perfect. She just she looks like she's a week early. Um, when I'll show you when we go live, um, when you look at her paws, the the bottom like the bottoms of her the pads like right here, um, it's like they you you can't pull them apart. They're just they're still wet. And so um, I haven't really tried to, I haven't really wanted to mess with them, but I was just looking at them and um, it kind of, it just kind of looks, has that sort of fetal sort of look where it's developed, but it's not completely there. So um, hopefully the, you know, everything just continues to go smoothly, but she's trending upward. So that's what's important. Um, and she has not, so she's stayed her weight, which um, it's not great, but it's not bad. If you followed us in the past, you might remember um, some of our, a couple of our other runs would lose 20 grams overnight that first night. And she didn't lose anything, so she's maintained. And I think it really helps that there's only three of them because there's like a surplus of milk. There's a surplus of milk and she's also not having to fight um, her brothers and sisters for it. There's always a, a nipple available that is full of milk. And so I think that's really giving her a much bigger head start than, than some of our puppies in the past. So um, not too long here, I'll get the stream started on them so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. And the other thing too is that Pop Pop is so little that um, she's kind of doing what Daisy does or what Daisy did, where she curls up real small and she kind of ends up kicking them out the other side of her. And so we're having to kind of show her what to do. And I think also her, her, Feeding is very, very sore. It's very painful for her right now because she is so engorged because she doesn't have very many puppy feeding. And so some of them over the next couple of days will begin to kind of reduce um, her, her production will slow down. And as it slows down and the puppies feed, it'll kind of level out then it'll meet, um, meet the puppies where, where they need. Um, but until then, we have these couple of days where our little girl gets a whole bunch of extra milk. So we're um, I'm in there and we're manually extracting milk. We're manually expressing milk and 
sucking it up into syringes and putting them in the fridge so that we have as much mama's milk as we can get. Um, and because, oh my gosh, it is so, so useful when we have, when we have mom's milk, they take it so much better. And it's just, it's so much nicer to give them something from mom as opposed to something manufactured when they're little. Oh, you know, before I forget, I need to, I've been forgetting to plug the live streams into our website. Um, some people don't use YouTube, so. And that's not mom, just so you guys know. That's Remy. She's just another one of our dogs. Um, I shouldn't say she's just another one of our dogs. She's she's one of our awesome dogs. She's one of our emotional support dogs for our nine-year-old son. Um, she's a great little girl, just over a year old. She'll be one of our mamas when she's old enough. Um, she's been a really, really great socialization tool because... When we brought her home, we had a litter of puppies that was about six, seven weeks old, like these guys' age, and she was eight weeks old. And so we put her in the pen with those puppies, and it was like she was at home because she just it was like she just returned to a litter. And um, so ever since, we've just always put her in with the puppies, kind of after they turn like four-ish weeks old, once they can kind of hold their own. Um, and we put her in, and she just kind of draws on to that puppy stuff, and she she kind of reverts to that eight week old puppy in her and she's a really, really great tool for them because she gives them lots of exceptions. She gets a lot of, she gives them a lot of um, latitude. I don't know if you saw Alfie pulling on her tail. She was walking around earlier. I think he's trying to get it again now. But like none of the other dogs will uh, let any of them do that. She's just very patient. And I think since we had a kind of a steady stream every couple of months of puppies, and now that she, now that it's a year later, um, she's almost kind of learned how to like, it's just a routine of hers now to kind of come and play with the puppies and teach them manners and how to interact in a group. Updated. Good morning, Kimberly. Good morning, John. I'll let you guys know when I'm about to get the uh, the pom pom stream going, but I will get to that um, this morning. Especially since our little girl is doing so much better. I'd love for you guys to see how awesome it is to see such a tiny little creature. Like, I can't believe she came in under 100 grams because, my goodness, that's tiny. That's so tiny. Is that like two and a half ounces? <laughs> oh, oh she's, how's she doing then? Supposed to be this supposed to be done today, so she already had it done. So she's what three days out now. Oh, you have to wait until Saturday. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I see. 
Oh, I read was Saturday as in like you've moved it up. Oh, well, at least you got another week. <laughs> oh thanks i think she's i think she's pretty too i really like her uh i like her chestnut color i didn't realize that i thought it would just always came in a more orangey color and i thought i thought that remy's color was usually it was more um along the lines of what you see in springers english springer spaniels and so I didn't know that this, the um, Cavaliers had such a spectrum for that chestnut. And so I just, I love her color. I love it. Yes, I mean, you have a very pretty color. You sure do. <laughs> going over for a belly rub. Yes, you sure are. <laughs> For me, it's gonna be such a good mom. trying to chew through the fabric instead of go into it. She's trying to cheat.
My screen on my computer is completely frozen, so um, it's working on my phone when I just log in on YouTube as me. So I hope that it's working for you guys, um, but I can't see anything on the computer. Just so you know. So. Oh, wait, there it goes again. Yay, we're back. Okay, Cindy. All right, good. Yeah, I went to open a new tab, and then I got the the wheel of death. You know, where it's just your mouse just turns into the spinning wheel, and then it froze. And so, like, all I try to do is open a tab, and I've only got the streaming one open. So I don't know what the computer didn't like, but it's being a bit moody today. I mean, are you ready to come out? <laughs> they love your tail. Especially when it lags. Thank <laughs> you. 
and I park my car. I park with mine in the middle. Or I park your in the top. And I park mine in the middle. And I park mine in the back. Is that it?
We were just talking about it. Uh, bring her down. Huh? Her. Should I put her in with Daisy's puppies and let them nurse on her? Yeah. I just don't want her to get upset at them because she gets uncomfortable, you know. They got teeth and her babies don't. Oh my gosh, Cheyenne is ever so perfectly placed in the middle of the... You know, let them nurse a little bit. Maybe it'll help relieve some pressure. Oh, hey, Kim. Henry, doing great. Bella, what's the matter? What's stuck? All right, I'll be right there, sweetie. Something is stuck. Something is stuck. Pom Pom, you're such a good girl. This is actually a really good idea. She's so engorged that the little babies can't really latch because her nipples are bigger than their mouths, especially the little, little one. She's so tiny, like her head is about the size of their, these guys' snouts. Okay, we wanna leave some milk for the babies. I don't wanna drink all of it. I think they just like took what where the, the babies are drinking. <laughs> they didn't match them to oh well no, I guess they did. They got they got things moving elsewhere. You're a good girl, sweetie. Exactly the way you did before, sweetie. We'll party, pom pom. We'll party. Yeah, I bet you guys didn't expect that little extra treat, huh? Oh, her pom pom. See, she'll just bark here at the door for a little while, and then she'll eventually learn if she just goes and pees, and she can come right back in. 
um, if she'd had a litter before, she would know, she would already know now that if she just like runs out, pees real quick, she can just run right back in. We have the pellet pan up there, but she, they get real finicky after they have babies and she just doesn't have a preference for using it right now. She wants to go out in the snow. So, you know, UBU is the attitude for that. <laughs> She's jumping up on, I can see her coming in going up. Uh -huh. Did you use the pellet? Did you use... It's okay. It's okay. Did you use the pellets? No.
And also, we got for this. Can somebody open the gate? So, so,
No, no, no. Oh. Oh, okay.
Disappointing because, well, I mean, I kind of needed it, but it was still better. Um, I think it was going to be up last night. But I wanted, yeah, I wanted to stay up because I wanted to be disappointed. That wasn't you, it was me.
Cheyenne had curled up in the very middle of that row and they were all. Aw, Bella Sue says that you did a wonderful job singing your ABCs. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, where's Paris? You put her outside, man.
You like that big thick double tip? See something. Oh, there it comes. So that the car. No, it's right over there. To the left. Oh. See it? There it comes. There it comes. 
Let's go out. And don't run unless you have our hands. Yeah, don't run. Okay. 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 Because remember, it's also got that litter thing that that this record, the litter record, right. so everybody's registration numbers. Oh, sweet! Oh man, they're awesome. Daisy, good heavens. New baby is just super excited for new babies and she wants to go be with the new babies.
<laughs> Silly me. Let's see what else I need. Oh, hey, Heather, you're on. Guess what came in the mail today? <laughs> you're not going to believe it. <laughs> the papers came.
wrestling matches and like party fans as well.
Yeah, so I'm going to take me to school, I'm going to run to town, pick up a few things, and then so I'm going to do that, like, by two just a little bit. My shoe is gone. Your shoe is gone. Yeah. Can't wait to see how cute this little girl is going to be because she's got the cutest thumbprints. Yeah. Oh, so cute. She's like a little girl. Ready to go, sweetie? Yes. Oh, Claire says, have a good day at school. Oh, thank you. <laughs>
No. No. No.
Jesus. Oh. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know, I've already been blocked by you today. Oh, man. <laughs> scared the crap out of me. It's <laughs> like far off water. I thought you were coming out from the first No. Woo! Man, I wanted to get Pom Pom's live stream started. Silly, silly puppies. Tell you what, it is a little nerve wracking. Um, driving to the bus stop, and
Thank you. 
Jesus is really deflated. <laughs> Jeez, puppers. Oh.
Bella. Excited to see you. They're like, oh, a new person. Hey! Oh. 
read it backwards. I have a ring in it.
What is this poison? What virus? I don't know. Does anybody know what it is? Oh, you can't even pick a flame. I what? Whoa! I fell. Bro, place is this?
Ooh, you're so silly.
side.
Come on over here. Come on. Dog.
Good girl, good girl, Cheyenne. Good body. You already opened it. Can I have it? Can I have it now, Dad? Yay! Oh, if the chat was disconnected, that's awesome. What? Why? We probably can hear ourselves. How could it be that I accidentally hit something on the I text from Heather from seven thirty when the camera fell. I suppose it was a little more. Just seven, yeah, just seven. Can you hold somebody so I can try to get a picture? Oh, actually, let's do that. Can you call Alfie? I'm so sorry, guys, that we didn't get the uh, pom pom live stream set up today. It's been, been a crazy, crazy, crazy few days. Do I look pretty, Dad? You do look pretty in your pajamas. I don't know. Right, you know, no, you're getting in the pet. It's something to be That was, but then you went inside Mom and Bella. Oh, you said later. Bradley, Bradley don't. Bradley, Andrew, we're not going to yeah. yeah, it is. I need you.
first two spells off. Oh, wait, not yet. Not yet. I don't know why you thought it was Thanksgiving break. It's not Thanksgiving for a couple weeks. Mm, nobody's been talking about Thanksgiving break. Tomorrow's In the middle of something, Brad, can it wait just a second, please? Uh, hi, Melissa. <clears throat> There's three boys and three girls. So the two that you see playing right now, the brown and white one, the Blenheim is a girl. Actually, both Blenheims are girls. This one right here, she's a girl. And so is that one. And then the tricolor with the darker face back here, she's a girl. There's two pink collars and a purple collar. Oh, Oh, which, what name is this? Is it? Hippa. Who's this? It's a Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Uh. Um, I'm going to go ahead and restart this live stream. I've got the next one all set up. So when this one ends, the new one will pull up in your web browser if you give it just a couple seconds. Um, otherwise, you can just refresh our channel page and it'll be right there. But thanks for joining us. I hope we see you on the other one. Hippa's really cute. 